Hey guys, how's it going? Just want to share some thoughts with you, and I was just watching uh, Ryan Denlinger's recent video, The Power of Negative Thinking, and he's basically going on this rant uh, about sin, or condemning sin, and he says, you drunkard, and you fornicator, and you adulterer, and then he says something basically like, you who watches the wicked TV, and so uh, he basically lumps, lumps in watching TV with, you know, the sin of adultery or fornication or drunkenness, etc. So uh, when I do like these parody videos and I'm saying that, you know, he's saying that, you know, to stop living like the world and, and, you know, listening to secular music or whatever else is all, you know, sinful living. Uh, it's not even really a parody. It's really pretty much what he preaches. And, you know, I think that's wrong. And I wanted to look up a verse because it made me think, and he didn't actually use this verse, I don't think, but I think he probably has before, I'm sure others have, and um, maybe I've even said it because I, I, I was kind of taught that early on. But I want to talk about Psalm 101, verse 3, which says, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. I hate the work of them that turn aside, it shall not cleave to me. And so basically... Uh, now, I should look at the, the entire verse, but I just wanted to focus for now just on the beginning part. I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. And a lot of people use that um, to condemn television and stuff like that. So, uh, so I wanted to kind of look at some commentaries to see what people said about that. Now, obviously... Uh, King David wrote this, and there was not television in his time, okay, not for many, many, many years to come. So it's obviously not directly speaking about television. And, uh, you know, I always want to try to understand the true meaning of the verses, and I wanted to get some insight and see what some commentators had to say. There's actually not a whole lot uh, on here, not a lot of opposing views or anything. Um, there's just kind of a little bit. So I'm just looking at Adam Clark's commentary, and which is the public domain. So I just put it over here to start, you know, get some commentary for these verses on my website. And um, he says, for the I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes. He says that King David is basically saying, I will undertake no unjust wars. I will enter into no sinful alliances. I will not oppress my subjects by excessive taxation to support extravagance in my court. I will not look favorably on things or words of Belial. What is good for nothing or evil in its operation, what is wicked in its principle, and what would lead me away from righteousness and truth, I will never set before mine eyes. And so... Uh, you know, and I always think, you know, I always say that, you know, I look at a lot of things figuratively and, and don't always try to take everything, you know, like wooden, literally. And there's some other commentators that think, you know, when he says, I will set no wicked thing before mine eyes, he's kind of talking about like his thought, like his thoughts, like his mind. And, you know, I will have no evil thoughts. I think basically the gist of this is that, you know, I will, I will not do evil or I will not uh, have enjoyment in evil. And so it really has nothing to do with watching TV. But that said, you know, it's easy to understand why a lot of people would condemn television because there is a lot of wicked things that are on there, you know. Of course, when we talk about television, kind of talking about cable TV, you know, there's lots of different things now, streaming services and YouTube. And, you know, I just watch a lot of YouTube, a lot of preaching videos. And there's some shows that I watch with my mom. There's things that I like to watch uh, that are on TV. But... You know, there's there's a wide variety. Obviously, you know, there's there's Christian networks and stuff. So you can't say that you know flat out that everything that you watch on TV is just wicked or whatever. That's not true. So it's kind of a gray area, and it's uh, you know, like I said, I think that the idea is to not take pleasure and wickedness and just because there might be something on a show that we like to watch where there's certain parts that you know 
we don't have to agree with, but we can still enjoy other parts, right? And it's kind of like uh, different for everybody uh, what your limitations are or what, you know, what you want to do. There are people that, you know, don't want to watch TV at all. That's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. But to say that, you know, the Bible teaches that it's a sin to watch TV is completely wrong. Um, so, you know, when I first got saved, I didn't watch shows like that, you know, for a year or so at least. You know, I just watched uh, Bible teaching DVDs and stuff like that, basically. And so I've kind of changed my views on these things as I have uh, grown in my walk with the Lord. And, you know, uh, I don't think it's because I'm falling back into my old ways or anything like that, but I think that I'm getting a better understanding, you know. Of, of, you know, the Bible talks about how, you know, we're in liberty with Christ and we're not to be in bondage. And I think that a lot of this preaching, saying that, you know, watching TV is sinful, you know, watching any of it, and uh, yeah, it's kind of like, you know, putting people in bondage, and that's kind of like the independent fundamental Baptist kind of thing. Uh, but, you know, again, and there's things that we don't have to agree with, and I kind of think that even in Scripture, you know, you read a lot of wicked things that the evil kings did and stuff. There's a lot of, you know, wicked things in the stories that we read, and obviously, you know, Scripture is holy, and it's God's Word, and um, so there's nothing wrong. But that doesn't mean that we take pleasure in those wicked things that we read, you know, in the Scriptures that the wicked kings or whoever did, right? We know that it's wrong, and the Bible condemns them. So I think that, you know, you can watch certain certain shows. Just for example, I like to watch America's Got Talent with my mom. It's a huge show that tons of people like to watch. And, you know, I find it really entertaining. There's lots of different people with lots of different talents. There's singers and magicians and, uh, you know, and I can see people saying that magic is evil and everything else too. But anyways, you know, there's just a wide variety of acts on there. People who've trained their pets to do tricks and stuff. And, you know, they get judged. And, uh, and it comes down to one person who wins and they get like a million dollars in a show in Las Vegas or whatever. They do it every year. And, you know, it's something I enjoy watching with my mom, and she likes it. And uh, so it's a big entertainment show, basically. But, you know, of course, they uh, are very, uh, you know, they have homosexuals on there and, and uh, transsexuals and all that stuff. And, uh, you know, of course, I don't agree with that stuff, and I don't like it when I see that stuff on there. But, you know... Uh, like I said, I like the other parts, and so, you know, just because I watch it and, the, and they have that stuff on there doesn't mean that I take pleasure in that, you know, I groan, and I'm like, ugh, you know, I don't, I don't like this, but, you know, I get through it to watch whatever else, you know, and people, like I said, have different limits, maybe at that point somebody wants to shut it off and not watch it at all, or, you know, just give up watching TV again altogether, whatever. Um... So, you know, the, the thing is, you know, do you take pleasure in these things? And, uh, you know, and, and I was thinking there are other verses that people abuse in this sort, sort of way, when, and I used to, too, and um, such as, you know, we're not, have, we're not to have an appearance of evil, and that can be abused in a lot of different ways, um, you know the way that we dress or whatever and uh, people get really specific and and put all these boundaries say that the bible this is what the bible te teaches um and that's kind of like when i did the parody thing with the vans checkered shoes and you know they could say well that's living like the world or that's like an appearance of evil or something uh because you know maybe it represents you know a rebellious culture or something i don't know they can come up with all this stuff and, uh, you know, that's all really interesting and stuff, but I don't think that's what the Bible teaches. I think it's taking the Bible out of context, and it's putting people in bondage. And, uh, you know, like I said, there's there's living like the world, uh, you know, those verses. And, you know, which basically, you know, I think when we're talking about living like the world, we're talking about doing the evil things that the world does, like, you know, having pride and envy and, you know, 
hatred towards others and stuff. That's the kind of stuff that I think the scripture is condemning, okay? It's not talking about watching TV or if we wear some name brand clothes or, you know, if we like some secular music or whatever else. And uh, so that's that. I don't know. Those are just some thoughts that I've had. And, you know, I would like to look into these other verses and things more to see what they have to say about them. But we know that King David didn't have a TV, so it's directly not talking about that. And then, you know, people will say it's just applicable or whatever. And uh, so, you know, and if people want to use this verse in that way and it helps them or whatever, then, uh, you know, fine. But if you're going to use that to, to put you know, constrain others on how we live. You know, it's just kind of like how Paul said not to judge others in, you know, meat or drink or in holy day and stuff like that. And he's talking about, like, the Jewish laws and traditions, you know, not to put people back into that kind of bondage. But I think that this is kind of applicable to, again, you know, of course they didn't have TVs back in there, but the idea is, you know, we're supposed to be preaching, uh, you know, salvation in Christ and liberty in Christ. And, um, you know, we're not supposed to be for sin, but, you know, watching TV isn't sin, okay? Uh, so that's all. Uh, thanks, guys. God bless.